What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Los Man, a.k.a. Carlos Tamez Mendez with CTM Productions, better known as CTM Photography. Today, I have some behind-the-scenes action with my photo shoot with Miracle Method Surface Refinishing. This video is going to be informative for any potential clients wondering what CTM Photography is about and educational for any photographers who just want to know how to get some group shots, portraits, and real estate imagery. So, the photo shoot started at 7.30 a.m., so I pre-prepared my strobe slash lights the night before. If you're interested in what strobes I'm using, send me a message and I'll get at you. I don't think that the equipment being used is really as important as knowing the fundamentals of lighting and posing. So, while the boss man sips his coffee and gets his chuck ready for the shoot, I place my lights where I think I might need them. I have a general idea of where the group shot will be, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Also, as you can see, I don't use any assistance for these kind of shoots. I only use assistance for maternity shoots, newborn, or bridal. And that's only because sometimes I need help with that feminine flair. You see, I'm a man. And as a man, sometimes I forget to fix the hair on the girl's shoulder or fix the bottom of the dress or to look at her lipstick or any of that other stuff. But for this shoot, I don't mind carrying my light stands and doing the extra work. But just keep in mind, if you're not going to have an assistant, be prepared, come early, and work diligently. You don't want people waiting on you. Anyways, once the employees show up, that's when all the fun begins. The key for me in a group shot is symmetry. Well, most of the time. You can always do a group shot that's staggered and make it look good. That's really not my style. But at the end of the day, there's really no rule. You know, but as for me, I like symmetry. So the way I do it is I keep the tallest in the back and the short in the front. And I try to keep consistent hand and feet placement. The more consistency you have, the better the group shot's gonna look. At least, that's my opinion. So, as I take the images on my ladder, I'm reviewing my camera and I'm checking for inconsistencies. I'm looking at shadows, I'm looking at their hands, I'm looking at their eyes, their faces, their feet. I'm looking in the foreground and I'm looking in the background, making sure my light stands aren't exposed. So, when the final image comes up, I'm very pleased. Everybody's smiling, I can see everyone's face, which is to me the most important thing, and everyone in the image seems to be well lit. It's a beautiful image that represents the company, I'm sure the owners will be more than happy with it. After this shoot, we decided to take another group shot indoors. The Corpus Christi humidity was making everybody sweat, so I had no complaints when they said let's do it inside. For the group shot indoors, I added a 22 inch booty dish and a bare strobe behind the group. I keep the same formula when it comes to posing this group, tall in the back, short in the front. So when this image comes out, I'm very pleased as well. Nice smiles, even lighting, good placement. I wish little Emma would have smiled, but you know there's only so much you can do when you're on a time crunch. Now for the portraits. For this setup, I'm using the same 22 inch beauty dish as the main light and a one foot soft box as the fill light. If you look above the subjects, there's a recessed ceiling light that acts as a small hair light. For the posing, I have their legs facing my boom while looking towards the camera. It's somewhat of a traditional pose, but it looks great when it comes to commercial work. Sure, you know, I could have added some rim light, but for the space that we were in and for the time allotted, I felt this was more than suitable. Nice even lighting, everyone's facing the same direction, and once again, some professional images that will represent their company. After the portraits, I was instructed to take some images of their showroom. Now, usually I shoot HDR, which is a combination of three images, one that's underexposed, one that's overexposed, and one that's evenly exposed. And you put them all together and it creates a super sharp, superimposed looking image. Sometimes those look good and sometimes they just look fake. But, you know, this time I decided I'm gonna try something a little bit different. So I know in the footage, it shows me using the beauty dish to light up the showroom. But what I ended up doing is facing the beauty dish straight up towards the ceiling, giving me some additional overhead lighting. Now instead of having this superimposed HDR or having a camera flash shooting straight up, we have some nice dynamic lighting that gives a nice effect. 
So I know that was kind of a lot of information in one video. You know, there was more to the group shot that I wish I would have mentioned. Um, there was more to the portraits that I could have mentioned. But, you know, for the sake of time and not keeping people bored, you know, I just kind of kept it simple and tried to hit the key points. You know, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this was informative and educational to some of y'all. If you don't like it, well, don't like it. Once again, it's your boy Carlos Tamez Mendez, aka Los Man with CTM Photography. Thanks for tuning in. If y'all guys have any more questions, check me out on my Facebook or my website. Y'all take it easy. Peace.